In this video, I'm going to uh, walk through an exciting update for the DroneBlocks desktop app, which is available for uh, Windows and Mac users. We've just added support for uh, Unitree Go One, and in the video, I'm going to walk through the various capabilities that we have using drone blocks with go one so let me go ahead and dive right into it i have my go one powered up i have the uh, drone blocks app currently open so i'll go ahead and connect to go one's network what that will do that will take us offline and we'll have a direct connection uh, to go one and you'll see in the menu that we now have a go one option let me go ahead and just jump over there and you'll see that we immediately connect. We have access to uh, the forward facing camera as well as the different other camera arrays. You can easily switch to those. And you can see here, uh, we have more of the 3D fish eye view. And then we have the ability uh, to kind of pan around the field of view with each camera. In addition to that, we have the ability uh, to capture a photo. So for example, if you wanted to just manually take a photo with your Go One, you'll see that it says file saved successfully. And what that does is in your pictures folder or on Mac, I believe it's under my pictures, you'll see that a photo is uh, saved that to that directory. So you can switch to any of these cameras, take a photo. And now let's take a look at some of the blocks that we have available to us. So there are navigation blocks. Let me zoom in a little bit just so these blocks are bigger. You have these various modes that you can change to, a walk, stand, sort of lay down, stand up. And then we have the ability to move in each direction at a certain speed for a certain time, we have the ability to turn and then also delay. So that's sort of the navigation movement blocks. And then we have uh, the ability uh, to have these pose blocks. And so these will allow us to uh, have different joint movements that we can achieve, extending, squatting, leaning, twisting, uh, looking up and down, and then uh, there's a reset body. Sometimes you'll use this block uh, as you're going through maybe a sequence and you want to uh, reset to the default position. Then we have a camera and LED blocks. So we can take photos, we can do uh, multiple photos and a change go one's LED colors, both by selecting a sort of a visual color from the palette, or we can set a specific RGB with red and green and blue intensity. So with that being said, let me talk through the mission. This is just something I whipped up quickly. We're gonna run it and observe uh, go one's behavior. So we'll just set the mode to walk. We'll take a photo. I have a function here called do push-ups. We go through this you'll see we run it three times we're going to set the mode to stand down and stand up then we take a photo and then we're going to do a box uh, two uh, iterations or two loops so we'll move forward move right back and left we have speed and then time so these will be pretty small uh, movements since i'm in uh, the garage and don't want to uh, go too far and then after that, we'll set the mode uh, to stand. The, the, this mode is necessary before we do all of these pose uh, blocks, just because if, if we're not in stand mode, Go One will interpret these as uh, navigation. So stand says stay in place so we can move the joints and do these. We'll take a photo, uh, we'll do the LED, and then we'll take another photo and then we'll be done. With that being said, let's go ahead and launch this mission. We'll make sure we pay attention to our battery remaining. We're currently at 70%. So now we're here doing our push-ups, three loops. Photo was taken. Now we're going through each of the pose blocks. 
can see we have different percentages we can go from zero all the way to a hundred percent take a photo we're in the LED function where we're going to set the RGB with the color palette as well as using numeric values our mission has been completed successfully you'll notice that our battery life is at roughly 60 percent and finally as with uh, the Tello missions you have the ability to save these to the cloud so I can go in here and save them give the mission a name save it as well as uh, retrieve uh, previously saved missions and we'll also be uh, working to make it very easy to share these with others. So I wanted to give this overview of uh, Go One support. We're really excited about what we've been able to achieve with the uh, integration as well as just being able to run some really cool missions. I encourage you to uh, download the app, test it out, give us feedback and share some of the cool things you're doing. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions related to the app, perhaps you run into a bug, please feel free to join our uh, community and share that there. We'll be happy to uh, jump in and, and provide any sort of support that we can. We hope you guys enjoy this update and until next time, thanks for watching.